The way this award season's turned out wasn't that much of a rivalry, so just let it go! Kidding. Are you doing that? You're kidding! <laughs>
Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. Have a great time. <gasps> this year's Best Supporting Actress goes to Davine. God is so good. Yes, yes sir. sir. For so long, I've always wanted to be different when I was the only black girl in that class. And now I realize I just need to be myself. Thank you for seeing me. And I know y'all said don't say nothing about no publicist, but you don't have a publicist like I have a publicist. And I am forever grateful. Have a blessed night. Thank you so much. You know, you forgot to mention your publicist's name. Oops. The Oscar goes to... War is over. Yeah. My mother turned 91 this February. Could everyone please say Happy Mother's Day, Yoko? Happy Mother's Day, Yoko! Those were all the parts of four things we're allowed to show on TV. <laughs> Ooh. We're like the Chippendale of showbiz. Chippendale? <laughs> no, I'm saying... Oh! Chippendale! Well, usually I am saying Chippendale, but not <laughs> now, because that would be weird. Yeah. 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 Best original screenplay. Anatomy of a Fall. Thank you so much. At the 46th Academy Awards in 1974, David Niven was in the middle of introducing Elizabeth Taylor when a nude man ran across the stage. The only laugh that man will ever get in his life is by stripping off and showing his shortcomings. That's a pretty hard act to follow. <laughs> Can you imagine if a nude man ran across the stage today? I said, can you imagine if a noon man ran across the stage today? Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, hell no, man. What the Psst, Jimmy. What? Come Do the thing. It's out the way. What's going on? Change my mind. I don't want to do the streak of bed anymore. We're doing it. It's an elegant event. You should feel shame right now for suggesting such a tasteless idea. It's supposed to be funny. How is that funny? The male body is not a joke. Mine is. <laughs> no. It's not. You wrestle naked. Why not? Dude, I don't wrestle naked. I wrestle in jorts. Jorts are worse than naked. <laughs> All right, just give out the award then. God. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Costumes, bruh. <laughs> they are so important. I, I, I can't open the envelope oh without the. There, you look beautiful. And the Oscar goes to. Meanwhile. Four things. Thank you for this. Inside. Sorry, my fellow nominees, it's an amazing privilege to be in the same room as you all. And the O's. Bruh. The Oscar goes to. The Son of Interest. All our choices were made to reflect and confront us in the present, not to say, look what they did then, rather look what we do now. Our film shows where dehumanization leads at its worst. It shaped all of our past and present. Right now, we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation which has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Whether the victims of October the 7th in Israel or the ongoing attack on Gaza, all are victims of this dehumanization. <laughs> Alexandra Bistron Kaladziejczyk, I dedicate this to her memory and her resistance. Thank you. Oh, hello, Emily. Bit of a frosty hello. Not at all. I'm just happy that we can finally uh, put this Barbenheimer rivalry behind us. Ken and Kitty leaving all that fodder in the dust. And the way this award season's turned out wasn't that much of a rivalry, so just let it go. Well, she really came that way? All right. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> but you know, I, I think I kind of figured out why they call it Barbenheimer and they didn't call it Op and Barbie. Why? Well, I think you guys are at the tail end of that because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. Ah! It's stupid. None of Come it's on. true. None of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. 
They don't want to give me credit for anything. Thanks for Ken explaining that to me. Mr. I need to paint my abs on to get nominated. You don't see Robin Downey doing that. You're kidding. This is insane, Emily. This has got to stop. We have to squash this. <laughs> to the stunt performers and the stunt coordinators who help make movies magic, we salute you. Please welcome your best supporting actors. And the Oscar goes to... Robert Downey Jr! Hello there. Psych! Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, fellas. That's amazing. You only flubbed one line. I'd like to thank my terrible childhood and the Academy in that order. I'd like to thank my veterinarian. I meant wife. She found me a gnarling rescue pet and you love me back to life. Bruh. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Arnold and I are presenting together for a very obvious reason. We both tried to kill Batman. Ah! Yeah. How did Batman beat you? Oh, he used my one weakness against me. Heat. Love. Oh. <laughs> he threw me out a window. Son of a <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. I He's mean, here. I hate him. There he is. You have a lot of nerve to show your face well, yeah, you here. Got, you know. Son of a brat. You are a real beak breaker. I'm gonna see you after the governor's ball. You better believe it. How? Okay. Oscar goes to Godzilla. <laughs> the Oscar. Hopefully you pronounce it better goes than I did. <laughs> Oppenheimer. I love the movie Twins, so this is bananas. <laughs> Whew, okay. Never going away. Everyone, raise your glass to Mr. Coleman, Flamingo, <laughs> Emily Blonde, John Kanchiski. Krasinski. Bruh. My beautiful wife, Miss Charlize Theron. <laughs> I love you. Hey, 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 hey. You're my angel. We're gonna share it. Can I get a skimble oh, kiss? Oh. Like that? Yeah. Oh my god. Probably kiss. Oh, we should kiss, me and you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take out the head. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Oh my god, I love you. Cheers. Mm, care. Bye, baby. Bye bye. Oh my god. That's my wife. Nope. Best in documentary filmmaking. Past winners like Woodstock. Free Solo, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Dominion. Kate, okay, no, those aren't documentaries. What do you mean? The dinosaurs weren't real. Mm -mm. Alan. Oh, America, not you too. My God, Dr. Spielberg, sir. Is this true? <laughs> but, um, Jeff Goldblum is real, right? No. Then to whom have I been sending my tasteful nudes? You're welcome. You nasty. You're gonna own this Cause you got the vibe Some people say that the silent era was the golden era of film. These people are difficult and insane. Without sound, we wouldn't have been able to hear such classic lines as, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I'll have what she's having. And he was in the Amazon with my mother when she was researching spiders just before she died. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Bruh. Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I'm in Vive la France! Yeah. Yeah. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Look what I got off Ryan Gosling's body. We'll start the bidding at $10,000. He's going home with me. Sorry, ladies. And the Oscar goes to Billie Eilish and Finney. I had a nightmare about this last night. Um. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Academy. I, I, I don't... Thank you to Claudia for listening to all my music. I want to thank music. my best friend Zoe for playing Barbies with me growing up and being by my side forever. I want to thank my like dance teachers growing up, my choir teachers, Miss Brigham. Thanks for believing in me, Miss T. You didn't like me, but you were good at your job. A few moments later.
time to say goodbye. And the Oscar goes to Killian Murphy. This is the first Oscar win and nomination for Killian Murphy. Ah! <laughs> you know, we made a film. We made a film about the, the man who created the atomic bomb. Oh. I was just hurt and traumatized, disgusted. For better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world, so I would really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. And the Oscar goes to Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. There, there are so many people who dragged me up here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And the Oscar goes to Emma Stone. Thank you. Boy, my dress is pretty. I think it happened during I'm Just Ken. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, this is really, this is really overwhelming. Sorry, I, hmm. Okay, and my voice is also a little gone. Whatever, the women on the stage, you are all incredible, and the women in this category, uh, Sandra, Annette, Carrie, Lily, I share this with you. I am in awe of you, and it has been such an honor to do all of this together. I hope we get to keep doing more together. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. Blah, blah, make America great again. See if you can guess which former president just posted that on Truth. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Thank you for watching. Isn't it past your jail time? The award for best picture. And, uh, and Maria is C. Oppenheimer. Yes. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Huh? Can you record me real quick? Mm-mm, get somebody else to do it. Wow. <laughs> if only there was some way for Christopher Nolan to text his family to tell them the good news. Thanks for watching the 96th Oscars. Good night. Quack.